Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So since the day NTA has announced their final answer key, the revised answer key where they have actually dropped two questions. Uh, there was a lot of questions regarding it, what is going to happen. And there are three major questions which I am getting on my, uh, like on all the social media platforms, even in the comment sections as well. So I thought to just tell my opinion in this particular video. There is nothing official over here. Uh, it's just what I think about it and I just want to share with all of you okay? because many of you are asking I thought to make this video just to discuss with you right so that's what I'm going to do in this video so three major questions the first one is whether these two dropped questions that the questions which has been dropped uh, whether this is going to affect the overall cutoff which we were predicting earlier right that's one thing uh, second question is that when this CSR net result is going to be announced okay when csr is going to announce the final results and uh, the third question is that whether the number of seats are going to be merged whether the number of seats will be increased or not so based upon what i think i'm going to tell okay so again i'm just giving a disclaimer that there is nothing official uh, there is no official information about it there is like i tried to ask or i tried to get information from the official sources uh, like from the help desk and all but there was no like success in that so i just thought to discuss what i feel about it okay so the first thing that whether these two dropped question is going to affect the cutoff which everyone was predicting uh, like the one which was like 100 to 105 or somewhere around it uh, for the general cutoff so whether it is going to change because of these two dropped questions see or in a broader picture i'll tell you these two dropped questions uh, as we have discussed in the previous video uh, if you have not watched that i will give you link in the i button so i have discussed over that that what could happen to these two questions okay like who is going to get marks out of these because of these two questions so that i have made a video you can watch over there so i don't think that this is going to affect the overall cutoff the overall cutoff will remain quite or the same okay it's not going to change drastically uh, one or two marks it can go up or down okay that can happen of course uh, and of course we are not we have not predicted an exact number okay so many of you i have read messages of many students many of you who are especially who are on the borderline there are a lot of like anxiety over there you are a lot of like you are confused many of you are disheartened that uh, my marks is coming this much the cutoff is being told by somebody this much so like i'm feeling bad so don't do that okay see anyone who is even i cannot tell exact cutoff nobody has that ability to exactly tell a particular number okay we all generally give a range and that's where the cutoff goes uh, and sometimes like it goes up or down also depending upon lot of factors okay so don't get disheartened unless and until the final answer key comes or the final sorry the final result comes answer key is already there so until and unless the final result comes don't feel disheartened okay at least if you are on the borderline just think positive at least till then right you have to think positive because if you will be feeling sad or if you will be feeling bad about it that is not going to help in any way right you are basically losing that interval of time in a uh, in a negative thought or in a negative uh, you know mindset so don't do that okay be positive think positive about it think that you will be able to qualify okay that's that's the best we can do right and there is nothing in our hand now right you cannot go and change anything right so what you what is in your hand is to think positive about it so that's the one thing which i want to make very clear over here in this video and i just want to every one of you who whosoever is watching please implement this and don't feel bad or don't get disheartened okay just wait for the final result and then whatever happens then you can show your emotions after that of course you will be having emotions so show after that but don't uh, you know affect yourself before that okay that's a request now the second thing is when csr is going to announce the result see the uh, answer key the final answer key was announced last monday okay this 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 monday so it's almost uh, like you will be watching this video maybe on saturday so this is almost a week right means five days for now and there is no result yet so uh, see there are two organizing committees if you are not aware about it let me tell you this that there are two organizing committees one is nta one is csir so nta's work is to conduct the exam uh, all the rights it has is to conduct exam properly uh, provide centers provide computer-based test and all those things 
and nt has nothing to do with the question paper it does not set question papers question paper is sent by csir to nta nta's work is only to put, put it in the uh, like cbt mode and allow you to register your answers even the correct answers are also given by csir so csir gives correct answer to nta based upon those correct answer nta is going to give you marks okay so that's how it works so nta's work only is to conduct the exam and give you uh, like uh, like give the answer key that's all now all the like result the final result which will be decided means how much marks we have got of course that will be depending upon the uh, like the final answer key of course but how much will be the cutoff who is going to qualify for jrf who is not going to qualify or at up till how much marks you need to qualify for jrf or not that is decided by csir so now nta has done their work i had a conversation with the help desk uh, of nta where i discussed about the dropped question and all earlier in the previous video i discussed that so i talked to them regarding this also like when the result will be there so they told that their work or the work of nta is finished like they have done their work now the next thing is on csir part csir has to decide that what will be the cutoff they have to make a result out of it means there will be a result in which all the qualified roll numbers will be there jrf net ls or csir jrf ugc jrf so so much things now csir has to do and it generally takes one week so that's what they have mentioned and if you will see the previous record of uh, this uh, like final answer key and uh, final result declaration it usually takes seven to eight days okay so considering that i'm expecting that the result will be announced on monday okay that's that's the best which i'm thinking as early as it can be uh, like announced on saturday or sunday also but uh, i think by monday it should come okay monday that's that's what csir should be done that's what i think about it right so uh, like it's already quite a bit of time and of course it takes time to make result to you know divide the students among ugc jrf csir jrf they have to do all those processes and it takes time or at least one week it will take considering one week from their declaration of um, answer key i will suggest that maybe around uh, like monday you will be getting the result okay means the final result with the cutoff uh, with the final list of qualified students so that is about the second question now the third question that whether the number of seats is going to get merged or not see uh, if you think or if you see this question uh, this particular exam it was called as joint csir uh, ugc net number 2022 and june 2023 so in the exam name itself they have combined both of them and if you will like if you have seen my videos or if you are following this channel you might already know that i have already discussed about it that there are many chances which csir has already uh, actually skipped and also if you will see this time they have not given a proper relaxation like age relaxation so that means ki what they are doing is they are going to merge a uh, csir uh, december 2022 and june 2023 that's what i think the best is there I means the best of what i can think of that means because the exam name is also merged because they are merging both the exams they're calling it as csir december 2022 and june 2023 in the admit card also if you will see the same thing is written so that means they are aware about that they are conducting two exams combinedly and when two exams are combined the number of seats are also combined over there although again i am making this disclaimer very clear that there is nothing clear mentioned about it neither on csir website neither on nta website neither on twitter nowhere and i try to mail also them regarding this i mailed them but they have not replied anything as such about it clearly so that's what i think that it should be merged because the name is being written together and if the exam is conducted together then the number of seats should also be merged because csir on every six month cycle which is the usual csir net exam cycle it gives a certain number of jrf and a certain number of net which is being lacking from the past few years so that's what they can do they can merge it and they can increase the number of seats now again the question will be whether the number of seats will be increased so whether it is going to affect the cutoff or not again same answer uh, the cutoff will not be affected drastically yeah one or two marks it can go up and down so these were three things i was getting so many uh, like queries so many questions there are certain certain times when you don't have anything officially or you don't have anything you know uh, concrete to tell you guys or there is no evidence of that but 
you want our opinions right so that's what i just wanted to do in this video i just wanted to share my opinion i just wanted to share what i feel about it and what i think about it so that many of you get the answer of it and i hope whatever we are discussing whatever i'm saying uh, resonates with you do let me know what you guys think about it what you guys are having thought about all these three things all these three questions do let me know your opinion in the comment section below and that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hello everyone so if you are preparing for csr net exam or gate exam and if you want to prepare along with me then i teach on an academy plus platform you can join my classes over there for live sessions regarding csr net exam as well as for gate exam so if you are preparing for your exam and want to join some classes an academy is the best place where you can get all the live classes along with that you will get recording of the classes plus you will get a lot of practice sessions where you can practice questions along with that you will also get access to notes where you can have short notes for your preparation and you can enhance your preparation with that right so in case if you are wondering where to take or from where to prepare for the upcoming exam an academy is the place where you can go for it so you can join an academy plus using my referral code that is n underscore huda uh, the link is there in the description of this video you can use that link to join an academy plus and watch all my classes live as well as recorded so join an academy now and let's crack this exam together